Dr. Chris Steidinger, DC, and this is Steidinger Method Workout number six. It's a shoulder workout, an upper body workout. Um, I'm going to demonstrate the different techniques, run through it. The whole one time through it takes about six minutes. Uh, and if you want to run through it again for, for, two, uh, for two cycles, so it'll be about a 12-minute workout um, if, you, uh, if you repeat it. Um, so we're going to start off with uh, crows. Crows are uh, an igasku exercise. And what you do is you make the hang loose symbol. Point your thumbs to your jaw, your pinkies to your temples, and then you just bring your elbows together. So this is what you kind of do. I'm squeezing my elbows together, and now I'm bringing my elbows back as far as I can. In my mind, I'm, I'm pressing my elbows into the wall behind me, and then I'm gonna bring them back together again, and I'm just gonna, gonna squeeze. And I'm gonna do, um, I don't know, about 10 to, to 12 of these. What we're really after is getting a good activation. We wanna feel our upper trapezius, our rhomboids, our middle back here kind of work a little bit. This is a great exercise if you have, um, if you sit at a desk, if you're a desk jockey or you have what, like shoulder tension issues or any other upper body uh, issue. This is a great way to kind of relax your muscles, help reset you. And it's a great way to warm up before we do a uh, shoulder routine. Okay. All right, there we go. That's about a minute of that. Now we're just gonna shake it out. Now we're gonna make circles. And then, you know, you can start off in whatever range is comfortable and then you can just make it, you can kind of go bigger and kind of bigger with that. You know, now we're gonna stop, we're gonna go the other way. And again, you can, you can make the circle bigger and bigger and really focus on getting your hands behind your shoulder. But again, with, with shoulders, stick to your pain-free range of motion. If you have any restrictions, um, you know, please follow uh, whatever your surgeon or physical therapist or doctor has laid out for you. So now we're going to do these. Are, this is like scarecrows, you know, after the scarecrow hanging there. And we're just going to do this. And you just go where, wherever you can go, but this is sort of what it looks like. And we want to kind of stick in that range of motion. Now we're just going to do um, like a snow angel. And again, we're just imagining we're laying on the, on, the, on the ground, making a big giant snow angel. Okay, and if possible, we want to keep our hands kind of behind the line of our body. But whatever, wherever we're at, whatever our restrictions are, whatever's pain free, that's where we want to kind of stick to. Okay, so now we're warmed up. We're going to start with our. Um, First exercise, you can use um, dumbbells or not use dumbbells or use bands, uh, but basically we're going to kind of come here and we're going to stick in this range of motion, okay? Okay, we're going to do this for about a minute, which is the time for 60 seconds. And again, we're just going to kind of go up and down. And we want to try to have a full range of motion. And we want to have our hands at, back at our sides as best we can. Okay, we're doing this for 60 seconds. You know, if you get tired or you pick a weight that's too heavy, it's okay to put it down and, and keep going. All right, we're almost at 30 seconds. So if you wanna say, hey, this weight was a little too heavy, you, know, you can just kind of do it with no weight at all. The weight's kind of secondary to just getting a, a good full range of motion and making our shoulders kind of work and moving into a full range of motion. You know, you recover a little bit, you can pick the weights back up. You know, finish strong. You have about seven more seconds. All right, so there we go. That's that exercise. All right, so now we're gonna do um, lateral raises. So I'm gonna demonstrate the technique with no weight. So basically, we're just gonna do this. We're really focused on working the middle part of our shoulder. I'm gonna do this for about a minute. With your hands, you see how I'm kind of like, you know, I'm kind of. If you had a cup, you'd be pouring the cup out. That's kind of the range of motion you want to do. And you really want to concentrate on feeling the middle of your shoulder. Do that work. You want to develop a good mind-muscle connection. You don't. You don't even need weight for this particular exercise. And we're about 30 seconds into it. If you get tired, don't be afraid to take a take a break. And, uh, a few more seconds left. Yeah, a few more seconds. 
Hip left. You should be feeling pretty good in the middle of your, your shoulders and your delts. Okay, and there we go. That was lateral raises. Okay, so for our last uh, two exercises, we're going to do um, posterior um, delts or the back of our shoulders, which is here. So we're going to kind of sit down. And you can use your, use your weight, lean forward, and just bring the weights up like that. And you're just going to kind of keep that pace for about a minute. You want to try to imagine that a good mind-muscle connection with the back of your shoulders. And feel and kind of pull in that place. Again, you can do this with bands. You can do this with no weight. What it looks like with no weight. And again, really, really, really concentrate on, on a good mind-muscle connection with the back of your shoulder. Try to pull from pull from back there. You see it makes a big difference. Okay, we have about six more seconds. Alright, there we go. And that's uh, posterior delts. Now we're gonna finish with uh, working our traps. The crows will work the middle of our traps back here. Now we want to work the upper traps. So I'm just gonna set this for a minute. You can use this with weight or no weight. And we're just going to bring our shoulders as high as we comfortably can and kind of roll them back a little bit. All the way down. Bring our shoulders up to our ears. Kind of roll them back a little bit. It's, you know, shoulder rolls. It's a trapezius exercise. Kind of like a shrug. And again, stick to a pain-free range of motion. You don't even need weight. If you don't have any weights, you don't need them. And just bring it up. Roll around, concentrate on the full range of motion. We have about 25 seconds or 23 seconds left. Um, we can take a break, take a break. And especially if this is, if you haven't done anything in a while, it's very, very easy for um, you to get deconditioned and your muscles end up not in a good spot. So about 10 more seconds. And then we're done with this cycle. And that's it. That's our first time through. If you're just doing like a six minute workout, you can stop here. But if you're doing a 12 minute workout, you'd want to cycle back to the beginning and do, do the second round. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for watching um, and have a great day.